Ethan White's an interior guy. Do you see opportunity or more so? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I'm ready to just get to work and, and, and get in the season and, you know, be where I'm at. I'm ready to play. And I'm excited to do that. They're very run heavy on offense, not to say they don't throw it, but I mean, offensive linemen, that's, you know, you bore those on people like. Does their scheme that they run appeal to you as an offensive lineman? Yeah, for sure. You know, I'm excited to, you know, pull and all that type of stuff. You know, as an offensive offense, so I'm excited to be in there. How much, how much did you see a growth from last year to this year in the offensive line? Well, yeah, I mean, it's a, a completely different, you know, one of the best offensive lines in the SEC. You know, it, it shows on the field the work they put in and stuff that the coach has done. Is there one, like, technical thing that you see differently from it, or was it just a wholesale change? Yeah, pretty much wholesale change. You know, like, the, the run game was amazing. You know, got some good bats, but the old line was out there paving the way. Uh, Caden Jones is, I think, the only target off the top of my head that's not signed or anything. Mm -hmm. you're, you're a big recruiter. Have you been in his ear at all? Yeah, I was actually with him on a official visit, you know, eating dinner with him and stuff like that, talking to his family. You know, everybody got bought, you know. I think I'm going to get you on To add, let's just say, what if, if he comes in there, you know, this class that you guys have, offensive line, you, know, you Bryce, Rod, and add him in there, you know, I mean, what do you like about that, that class you guys have coming in? You know, like, I, yeah, I feel like, other than us being great players, like, we all like minded, you know, like, I'm going to you know, be great, and I think that there's some some guys that you know that in the pre process that don't have the same type of goals, but I think we have like Their O line coaches have been big on like the development they made, and you've seen what they did this year. What do you think they can do for your game? Seeing what they did this year, I think they can change my game. Really, like, make me a way better player, get me ready for, for the for the college level. You know, I've seen what they've done with other guys like Charles Torrance and guys from even UL, and they put in the league. So I'm excited to get. Um, what are your expectations coming in? I'm excited to just grow, you know, uh, practice and compete, you know, get some players and, and see where I go. What's your favorite thing non-football-wise about uh, I would say the uh, fan base and the uh, alumni base, just everybody there is so supportive, you know, see people in public and they know they know I am. So like that. So, Coach Napier in general, what, what makes him like a coach as a recruiter and as a head coach and his overall play? Yeah, he just has this feeling to him. Like, he, he knows what he's doing. He has a plan. You know, he's talking to me so calm. And, like, he's just a guy that's like in trust. Um, you know, I know they're targeting a few transfers and that kind of stuff. Is that something they talk to you all about? You know, hey, we may add a transfer or, or whatever. Or is that something that not really in you guys' mind? I mean, yeah, for sure. We need tackles. We don't have a lot of tackles right now, and that's something they're going to go against. Well, I'll ask that for you. You know, Chris McClellan and those guys said the offensive line all season is going to be nasty and hard and everything else. Have they talked to you about that? What are you expecting out of that? Uh, not, not too much, you know, talking to them. I'm excited to compete against those guys every day in practice.